Hi lads, I thought I'd do a quick video on uh, this is an era 5 count. Um, it's a 5 litre sash lock, 64mm this one. Um, just a quick one of decoding and picking these. Um, the eras do bind fairly easy. 7 gauge key on these. I'll show you working on the key. 7, way, seven gauge keyway. There's the key for this one. Here's brand new. Let's fill out the packet. It's got a scratch on it. This is a brand new lock. Um, all right, what you'll find, you get a pick right to the back, see by right to the back and the pick in. I've left the cover off here just so you can see, see that I'm lifting that first lever there. Okay. Right, this pick and lollipop is set up parallel, yeah? So where the pick is and the, the pop are, they're actually level. You can see the Nero's sitting up slightly. Right, the idea of this is that um, the configuration of levers on a five count uh, such that see where I'm just touching that front lever but I'm not lifting it my lollipop is at um, nine o'clock or nine till three it's horizontal basically you'll find it and go through to lever two now and lift it's the same so if it's at the nine o'clock or above it's a high lift lever so if there's one low lift in here, I know it's really extremely low, it's back there on four, there it is there. Can you see it? It's below, it's below the nine o'clock, that's me touching it now, that's me lifting. There you go. So it's below nine, so if we go back to pull to one, it's at nine already without me lifting. So that's how you go through, so you go through the pack, so it's nine o'clock, nine, Slightly higher than nine, that one. So if we go back to the next one, so that's nine, that's slightly higher than that one. It's cool. Turn the wrench really under it, so that's the first one you'll be. Okay, see it's, un it's under the nine, and then the right back of the lock, I've got my pick falling out. So I'll try to do this and get outside around the camera as well. That's me to the back of the lock. That one's at nine. So basically, it tells me that um, which one's to pick first. So obviously, you, ideally, you want to pick all your high lift levers first. Okay. So quickly going through that decoding bit, we would say that this lock is um, high, high, high. Fourth one is low, and the fifth one is high. Okay. Now, make sure the pick's right at the back. I'll try and get that. Leave that fourth one till last. But at the same time, I still got to get under it to get to the front okay I'm at the front now okay now because I know the high lifts I can lift to 11 o'clock okay that's to there so 9 to 10 and I see one and number one is really springy so go to two and what I'll do is I'm using pressure on my finger so I don't just skip through the whole pack you see that that's lifting if I let go of tension there you go it's reset the lever so that's on lever two okay it's hardly any pressure I'm putting onto that lever two is actually set at 10 o'clock Okay, let's go to one, back at nine o'clock, lift slowly, I've got a little bit of resistance there now, but it, it doesn't want to set, okay. So I laid off attention, you he, he heard two drop, so that there's two again to lift it up. I've just increased my attention slightly, there we go, we're back on it now, but I've got no pressure on that. To three, and all of those, put a little bit of pressure on the, on the pick, so I don't slide all the way back, okay. So if I was to pick this for real, go two, three, try and get under that four now, I'm going to corkscrew under, so my hand's going to be in the way for a bit. Get to five, lift five right up, nudge four, one starting to bind, two still low, two, three, okay. Now what we're looking for is binds now and any sort of gives on the other levers. Three is in and out of your picks, I'm going to right off of that and kick it out of it. One is that's it. Two is up there now, three is up there. Number four should be really low or I've over, over picked it. It's really difficult on this low one. You'll hear the whole lot drop in a second. I'll have to lay off the tension. Okay, big bit give there. That's just a little awkward around the camera. See, there's four there. It looks a little bit high. 
three. I can feel the anti picks now, so lay the tension right off there. Go on to one. One's up high, so eleven o'clock. Go to two, eleven o'clock. Three, yeah, eleven. Four is too high. I think I've overpicked four. See, there's me into the anti pick. Right, so what we'll do is I'll just pull this camera away so I can get get in with it going right round. So I lifted four too much. Okay. So I'll do this time is do the same, but without reaching over the camera. So just gotta make sure I'm right to the back of the lock. I so say only, only small lifts, but because we've decoded this lock, we know that it will the full flavor is the low one. I'm just basically I'm trapped behind at the moment. I'm gonna try and put the edge of my pick. Just lifting it out of the way. Here we go. That's me lifted out of the way now. Now I'm at the front of the lock now. So two set easy. Three. I'm skipping past the anti pick there. And then one. So two, three, four. Again, we want to keep that really low. That one. It's just literally a nudge. And get to five. And just lift five up. Okay. When they're all at, when your high lifts now are at 11 o'clock, which this one is, two isn't, it's at 10 o'clock, so you can't see the paddle anymore because I've moved. Lower the tension completely. Skip that back out of it because it will go into the anti pick. What's happening is you're supposed to lift the high levers first, and because that fourth one stopped me to get to get into number five, I've actually lifted it and set it into place. I've done it again onto an anti pick. <sighs> It's the fourth one that's the getting me on this one. Basically, you're supposed to leave that to last. But because I'm trying to set that fifth lever, I'm actually setting it. Right, we'll go this time. So it's tension all the way off. There we go. Tension, I was going to say, tension all the way off so I don't go into the anti-picks because we do, did know they were high. That's a pick there. So it took too long. But the whole point of this video is just to show you that 9 o'clock, get your... Even if you just use a wire and use the wire as an indicator. Okay, 9 o'clock, 9. And if I go to, to 4, which is right at the back there. You can really see it isn't nine o'clock. There's nine o'clock up there. That's me hitting it. Okay, so you can decode them quickly rather than just randomly going through and ledging them all up slowly. Um, once you know which are which, if they're nine o'clock or higher, it's a high lift, and you want to be pushing up to roughly eleven o'clock. If they're below nine, they're a low lift, and you want to push them up to nine o'clock. That's about it, really. Thanks for watching. My name's Steve. UK Locksport, get in the camera. Thanks, lads, and I'll do some more videos for you soon. Bye. Bye.